So, as it turns out, this is actually a wrestling channel where I never actually post anything about wrestling until today. Today I wanted to comment about Alundra Blaze's recent comments on the sexy women that were appearing on Raw Underground for a while. Alundra Blaze wrote the following, So, we are bringing back half-naked women in the same breath of promoting the evolution and equality of women. Yes, this is entertainment. Yes, this is a skit. Yes, this is acting. Yes, these are wrestlers. Why resort to women sexually dancing, opening a show? Why not men in Speedos? Unfortunately, WWE's social media accounts rarely respond to these sorts of complaints. So at best, what we can do is argue presumptively, um, making educated guesses as to why WWE is doing what they're doing. And as I thought about it, it occurred to me that it's actually relatively easy to respond to uh, Alundra Blaze's question without inferring that WWE are being sexist or anything like that. And the answer comes down to WWE appealing to their primary target audience, which is heterosexual men. So the reason that WWE has resorted to women sexually dancing opening a show rather than men in Speedos is because WWE's primary audience has always been and probably will always be heterosexual men. Um, unfortunately, Lance Storm doubled down on Lalundra Blaze's comments and wrote the following. I agree with your points completely. I will pop huge tonight, though if they do a women's underground and have three Chip and Dale type dancers. If you're going to do eye candy, at least do it for everyone. Hashtag equality. So unfortunately, Lance Storm's last comment, if you're going to do eye candy, at least do it for everyone, shows just how thoughtless um, his point of view view is because it's impossible to appeal to everyone. Not every heterosexual woman is attracted to your quintessential chip and tail type dancers. Some women are attracted to midgets. I know women who are attracted to chubby men and you can kind of see where I'm going. It's a slippery slope. It's impossible to appeal to everyone. But what you can do is appeal to your primary audience which is heterosexual men which explains why WWE is doing what they're doing. Um, so I don't think it has anything to do with thinking that women aren't equal or not treating women equally. It just It's just a business tactic that every business does, which is appeal to their primary audience. That being said, I wanted to make some comments regarding the way that fans ruin the WWE product. So what's true is that Vince McMahon often ruins his own product. What's also true is that WWE sponsors often restrict the range of storytelling that WWE is able to tell because WWE doesn't want to offend these sponsors and lose them because of a story that the sponsors see as in poor taste. Uh, another thing restricting the range of storytelling that WWE is able to tell is um, the political climate. Um, we live in politically correct times where WWE is highly self-conscious of its public image and um, they want to be politically correct lest their image be stained. So while these factors contributing to how restrictive WWE's storytelling is are true, at the same time, I think one of the things that's overlooked the most is the fact that the fans restrict the range of storytelling with comments like this, needlessly accusing WWE of racism, sec or excuse me, sexism or whatever, um, when there are more charitable interpretations of what WWE is doing is available. Um, I think this is illustrated well in Jinder Mahal's feud with Shinsuke Nakamura when he was WWE champion. You might recall at one point that Mahal did a, a promo against uh, Nakamura where he made fun of Nakamura's accent and I think he might have also said something about Godzilla. Unfortunately, in response to this promo, the fans started chanting, well, that's too far, that's too far, that's too far, apparently not understanding that it's part of the Hill's job to get you mad at them for doing these sorts of things. And not only that, we all understand that Jinder Mahal is actually not a racist. He's just playing a character on TV. But due to the fans complaining about this sort of things, WWE is not able to tell these types of stories anymore. So I guess that's my overall point here. We tend to, while there are problems with WWE that the fans are certainly not responsible for, sometimes the fans are responsible for the uh, sto uh, terrible stories that we 
uh, that we get on TV. The reason we get these sort of terrible stories is because the fans restrict the range of storytelling that WWE is able to tell. Anyways, that's all I have for now. I would love to interact with you in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.